Well, Petra, what a match. You're into your very first Australian Open final. I know you've won majors before, but you're here in the final now. What does this mean to you? You're going to make me cry again? Or? I'm not going to make you cry, no. Just want to know what it means to you. Um, it means everything, I think. Um, you know, that's why I really worked very hard to be in the finals of the tournaments, final of the major. Um, finally, I, I could make it kind of deep in this major, and uh, I will really enjoy the final. And uh, yeah, whatever happened, and I'm already very, very happy. And you deserve to be. This match started in extreme heat. They closed the roof at 4-all, and I'm not sure who was happier about it, the fans or you, because there was a big cheer when they closed the roof. How did that impact this match? Your game really seemed to take off here as the match wore on. Well, yeah, the first set was very tight for myself. I was pretty nervous. I couldn't really, you know, have a full swing and really be more relaxed than I was in this in the matches before. So I'm really glad that it came in the tie break and in the second set. Uh, actually, I was, I think, happier than the fans than the roof closed. But <laughs> I like play indoors, so it's really, I think, helped me a little bit. And uh, doesn't matter. I mean, it was a, uh, it was kind of warm, but. Uh, if it's open, I'm still going to fight, so it doesn't really matter. Sure. Did you know before the match, did the, the referee tell you it's likely we're going to close the roof? Were you surprised that they closed it? I, I heard uh, a few days ago about kind of rule change, and uh, I asked uh, Laura from WTA today how is the possibilities of closing the roof and how is it, um, so she told me. Okay. We're going to have another semifinal here very shortly. It's going to be your countrywoman, Karolina Pliskova, taking on Naomi Osaka. I'd love to get your thoughts on both of, their, both of them as players and, and kind of a look ahead to the final for you. Well, I think both of them are great, <laughs> what we can say. Um, yeah, I think uh, Karolina had a great match against Serena. Um, Naomi is really in the fire and she's playing very well. Both of them playing very aggressive on the basic line. I think Karolina maybe is a bigger uh, server and uh, we'll see. It will be very interesting and uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to watch, but <laughs> uh, we'll see who I'm going to meet. Last question. You're in the final. Do you have one more win in you? <laughs> I'm not that person who's going to tell it, but uh, I love playing finals. Um, that's my answer. We love seeing you. So lovely to see Petra Kvitova back in the finals of a major, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, the Australian Open trophy would certainly look very nice alongside her two Wimbledon crowns, wouldn't it? And uh, even before that final, she'll be leaving our shores with a trophy, having won in Sydney. And she's certainly taken that form through to here at Melbourne Park. So this is the state of affairs at the moment. Petra Kvitova is already through to the final. She'll now sit back and watch the showdown between Naomi Osaka and another Czech in Karolina Pliskova. So there's every chance it could be an all Czech final as we look at the Kia 360 and you can see the celebration here and just the sheer relief. In the end, it was uh, quite comfortable for us. 7-6 in the first break and then 6 love. 94 minutes is all it took for Petra Kvitova to make her way through to the final of the 2019 Australian Open. Her coach's box <laughs> certainly up and about and uh, just maybe suggesting that just showed real heart, absolute heart, absolute heart, a real ticker there, uh, Petra Kvitova. And she'll need plenty of it because it doesn't matter who she meets in that final, she'll need every ounce of that courage that she's displayed so far in this tournament.